Hello all, hope you all are doing well. Today I want to talk to you about a feature that we have just launched in Amazon QuickSight, which will enable you to embed QuickSight dashboards in your applications and portals using the one-click embedding. My name is Kareem and I am a product manager with Amazon QuickSight and I'm happy to walk you through this feature. First, we are going to look at the agenda. We will talk about Amazon QuickSight as part of the introduction. Then I'm going to take you through the three steps required to use this feature. The first step is enabling permissions on the dashboard. Second step is allow listing the domain that you'll be using to embed the dashboard in QuickSight. And third step is embedding the dashboard itself in your application. So let's start with the introduction. Amazon QuickSight is business intelligence at scale. What that means is that if you're using Amazon QuickSight for your business intelligence needs, and if your user base is increasing, you don't have to worry about scaling. Amazon QuickSight will scale for you. Amazon QuickSight also allows you to embed your interactive rich dashboards into your own application, thereby making it very easy for your users to consume this data. And we have a rich set of features, and one of the features is what we're going to see today. Amazon QuickSight also gives you some new capabilities such as ML Insights. We have our new Q bar where you can interact with your data using natural language. And also we have anomaly detection. All of these are available out of the box and you don't have to uh, do any sort of modification to, them, to use that. Last but not the least, Amazon QuickSight is enterprise ready. What this means is that with Amazon QuickSight, you don't have to worry about infrastructure. It scales for you, it is secure, and it takes care of all your um, enterprise needs when you want to have any sort of business intelligence in your, uh, in, in your applications or for your end users. Now, I'm going to take you through the three steps for embedding Amazon QuickSight dashboards in your applications using the one-click feature. The first thing is that you will have to open the dashboard that you want to embed as, per, as the author and access the share dashboard screen. Let me walk you through that quickly. So as you can see, I'm logged into my Amazon QuickSight account and I'm accessing a sales pipeline dashboard and I'm the author of this dashboard. Now I click on share and I click on share dashboard. This is our new share dashboard UI. Here you can search for users one by one and add them so that they can access the dashboard. You can search for groups and add them too. Or as you can see here, you can enable everyone in your account for this particular dashboard and everyone in this account will be able to access this dashboard. You can also turn off this feature. In that case, only the individuals or groups that you have added here will be able to access the dashboard. And if you have, if you're an enterprise with hundreds of users and you don't want to add them one by one, then you can just click on this button and enable everyone in your account to are able to be able to access this dashboard. So this is step one. When you enable this particular setting, you have the ability to also make this dashboard discoverable on that quick site if you enable this second toggle. If you don't, then everyone will still have access to this dashboard, but they will only be able to access the dashboard via the link or the embed code, which is what we are going to look into detail. So this is step one, is assigning permissions to the dashboard as who can access this dashboard. Now, step two is adding the domain where you want to embed this dashboard. You have to add the domain into QuickSight so that it, QuickSight knows that it is coming from a known domain. For that, you will have to access the domain in embedding settings and add this domain. Let me walk you through that. So now that I have given the permissions to this dashboard, let me walk you through step two. So you click on your account. You click on Manage QuickSight. You have to be an admin on this account to be able to do that. 
and IAM admin. You click on domains and embedding. And this is where you can enter your domain where you want to embed the dashboard. Make sure that you are having the HTTPS on the URL. And if you want, you can enable the subdomains too. So as you can see that I have added the domain where I want to be able to add this particular dashboard. Now let's go to step three. In step three, you, you click on, you go back to your dashboard, open the share, share window where you want to share this dashboard and you click on copy embed code. If you copy, when you click on this, this is the type of the code that is copied to your clipboard. Now you can take this code and add it to your HTML pages or SharePoint sites or Google sites or Confluence or wikis and dashboard is embedded. So let me show you a quick sample here. So as you can see here, I have a simple HTML page which is being serviced on the domain that I just added. In that, I have added the iframe that I copied from my shared window here. And now, when I access my domain, you will see the dashboard being embedded. So as you see this, as soon as I access the domain where I have embedded this dashboard, you will see my dashboard here. This is the iframe code that I had added. And your users will be asked to authenticate so that they can access the dashboard. This is if they have not accessed this particular QuickSight account before accessing this particular dashboard. Once they log in, next time when they come to this page, they don't have to authenticate again. So let me quickly sign in and show you the embedded dashboard. So as I signed in, the pop-up closed. So in that sign-in pop-up, I had to add my set account name and then my credentials and once I successfully did that the pop-up closed and then the embedded dashboard loaded on this page. Now if I were to access this URL again because I've already signed in I will not have to sign in again and the dashboard opens up for me. So you can see here that I was able to quickly add the embedding code that I got with a single click from my dashboard window. I added my HTML page and the dashboard was embedded in my application. So now you can see that with a single click, you can enable access to your dashboard to everyone in your account. And with a single click, you can get the embedding code that you can just copy paste into your application pages and embed the dashboard. This feature makes it really easy for you to embed dashboards in your applications, which are HTML app running on HTML or a SharePoint site or a Google site or a Confluence site or a Wiki site or any other technology that you use for your applications. Your users will have to authenticate so that the dashboard data is still secure. But it makes it really simple for you to embed dashboards into your applications now. Thank you for watching this particular video. Hope this was insightful and you're able to use these features. If you have any questions, please reach out to quicksightsales at amazon.com. Thank you and bye-bye.